Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here, back with more drawing videos. Um, today's video, we're going to be drawing um, Crash from CTR, uh, the new one, actually, the CTR Nitro Fueled. And um, this wasn't a video request by uh, anyone, which I normally do. Uh, this is actually just uh, kind of an announcement video, too. Um, I did this for like my last Let's Play, but um, basically if you follow the gaming portion of my channel, you'd know I finished uh, Beautiful Joe for PlayStation 2. Now we're going to jump into CTR Nitro Fueled for PlayStation 4. And I decided to make a head draw video on it. Just so, um, like killing two birds with one video. So yeah, we're just drawing Crash today, guys. Um, other than that, get your pencils ready and um, let's jump in. Alright guys, so to start off drawing this one, what we're going to do is draw a big circle. Um, this time it's not going to be for the head though, so that's like a first. So we're going to just draw a nice big circle. Keep it light because there's going to be a lot of stuff like overlapping it. But give yourself enough room because you will be drawing like crash in this. So once you got a nice circle, what we're going to do is draw another circle kind of hugging it, like so, like that, and now we're going to just do all like the CTR, like going across, so before we draw and crash himself, so basically to draw that, um, I'm going to start with the C here, and we're going to draw a line going down and on an angle like this right over the circle too and then we're gonna just kinda curve it up and get like kinda like a nice circle in here like that and now we're gonna draw a line going down on an angle so you get kinda like a Pac-Man face almost and then at the end of here we're gonna just kinda connect it to the top of um, this thing and again, try to keep it round like that. And then to give it depth uh, from these angles, we're going to draw a line down here and here. And we also get one here and here. And then you just kind of connect them like that. Connect this one. This line will start a little bit around here and just kind of curve into the C like that. But that's pretty much how you draw the C. Now we draw the T. And the T is kind of, um, it kind of goes up on an angle here. So it's not straight across, it's kind of on an angle. And then it goes down. And then over. It goes over straight across. And it kind of goes straight up. And then over. And then up. Over. And then kind of down like that and then we kind of erase this part made the line a bit too long and then for the depth for this one it's line going down here and in down here and in and then on the very bottom here a line going down down and then connect them so there's the T and then just to draw the R you start with a straight line going down here and the line kind of going across, slightly up, and then it goes up, across, down, and then over, and then up. And then you get kind of like um, a nice big curve line here, like that. And then for the depth on this one, we're going to draw a line going down here, here. Kind of connect them like this, across, a line going down, and we're going to get a line going down here, and across, and then down here, up, and across like that, and then um, you get a line going, kind of curving down here. And then um, you get kind of like a D, almost, like a big capital D shape right here and then just a little curve line for the depth. 
So that's how you draw like the CTR logo. Now we are going to uh, draw Crash finally. So um, basically, what I do, like to do is start off with like a big circle for his head. Um, that's pretty good. And then you get you can kind of get like um, kind of this like oval shape for his body. And then the trophy would be about here. Like that. But uh, since we got the gesture down, we kind of jump into detail. Um, oh, and before that, we can kind of like draw in like, um, like an oval here for his muzzle. That's kind of like what I like starting out with. And I like starting out with his nose. So somewhere here on like his muzzle, we're going to draw a big oval. Keep it nice and round like that. Then off that oval, we, we're going to draw a little curve line. And you can shade it in if you want. Like that. Actually zoom in a little bit for this one. And um, now what we're going to do is kind of off this, we're going to draw a curve line that curves a little up, slightly down, and then up when it gets to like the cheek here. And then it's going to go down kind of straighten out at the bottom here and then curve in and up like that and then we get in a smile which is a curve line here a line going across and over this line kind of goes down kind of straightens out and goes up like that and then for his teeth it's a curve line going straight across and then just lines going down like that. Again, nothing too hard. So once we got like his muzzle down, we kind of like draw on the rest of his face. Um, there's gonna be like a curve line here for his cheek, and then um, his eyes will be about here. And then once we got the muzzle down, we kind of like draw on the, like that like gesture and the head shape for how big the head should be. So it should be like something like this. But after we get that down, we can kind of draw on the eyes. Um, this eye will go off this cheek, and basically you just draw a big kind of um, U shape with like a straight bottom. So you get like a big U, or an upside down U, and then like a straight bottom. And then kind of the same thing over here, you get kind of like a U going up, down, and then straight bottom. Like that. And then you draw in his eyes, which would be a big circle. And then another big circle, but this eye would be like touching the edge of this line right here. And then we're going to draw a curve line for light reflection. And then another circle in the middle. And you could shade that one in for his like pupil. There you go. And when, once we got that down, we kind of draw on his eyebrows. I'll angle the camera a bit up. Um, his eyebrows are pretty simple. Basically, what you're going to do is draw a curve line that just curves up. And then another one that kind of curves up and over. Like that. And then off this, we're going to draw kind of like a, another curve line. And it's going to go off into like spikes. So you get like one, two, three, four, like that. And then same thing on this side, just going to kind of curve up into like little spikes for his eyebrows. And then we could get his ear, which his ear is kind of like an oval that juts out. And then you're going to do a curve line that curves up. And then curves down and in like this, kind of like an elf ear almost. And then we're going to start about here and draw a curve line that kind of hugs the ear a little bit, rounds off, and then goes back up and touches the line. Not at the very end, there's a little bit of space. So you touch it a little bit before the end of that line. But once you got that down, we kind of just kind of finish in his head shape. So you kind of get like a curve line like that. And then his head kind of be about here. And just kind of go into like his shoulder here, which we'll draw that in a minute. But now we could draw in his mohawk. So to draw that, it's going to be a kind of very similar to the eyebrows, actually. 
it's going to start with like a curved line and then go up. And then you just get kind of like jaggedy, spiky lines. Just going all the way down. Like that. And then you'd see his other ear too, which um, just kind of goes off here. And then around. And then you get kind of like um, a curve line that goes up. And then start a little bit before this line ends and just draw a curve line going in. <clears throat> That's his ear. And now um, we can kind of draw in like, uh, draw more of the gesture. So to do that, we're going to draw a circle about here. And then we're going to draw an oval for the start of his arm. And draw another little circle for the joint. And then another kind of oval right here. Then we're going to get like, kind of like this square, this box for his hand. And that's pretty much all we need. So basically the head goes straight into the arm, which will curve around. And then in, and then over, and it's going to stop about there. And we'll just get a curve line here, curving in like this. And go there. And then we could kind of draw on the hand. Um, so the hand's kind of tricky, not really. Um, basically what you're going to do is, if you want to, you draw an oval for the thumb. And just kind of like follow that. Kind of make like a finger shape here. Curve the line in. And then over. And then Crash, I believe, only has four fingers. So we're going to draw three um, circles here. And basically, these just kind of go into like the finger shape. So you get like a curve one, and kind of straightens out on top and goes in. And then same thing here, line going across, over, kind of straightens out. See a little bit of the edge a little bit. And then this line just kind of curves in and over. And then this kind of goes into just the arm here. Like that. But he is wearing gloves, so to draw that, I'm going to actually erase some of this um, gesture stuff so it makes it a little bit clearer. So to draw his glove, um, where his wrist is, you're going to just draw a curve line. Line going out, and you get kind of like a rectangle around him, like around his wrist, like that. And then on the edge of his fingers here, you get like a curve line here here and here like that and then just in the middle of his glove you get a square that's perfect and then we're gonna finish off like kinda crash his body before we draw the trophy in and basically it's just kinda like a curve line that curves down and in you can put a little like spikes too for his fur and then this line is gonna go up and curve in like this and then he has like um slightly like different belly fur. So to draw that, you just call it draw kind of like jaggedy, spiky lines going down. Like that. And then um, zoom out a little bit. Now we could draw on the trophy, which the trophy is a little complicated, but not nothing too bad. So like I like starting out at the very top here and drawing a curve line like this. And then you get kind of like a dome. And then off that dome, we're going to draw a little curve line that hugs this bottom line here. And then once we got that down, we can draw kind of like um like a cylinder almost. That kind of curves in a little bit. And you get a curve line. And very similar to this shape right here. We're going to draw another little curve line that hugs it on the bottom. And then another one. So we get two. And then the trophy itself is just kind of going to kind of going to go out. It kind of looks like a vase almost. Go out or like a bowling pin, and then kind of curve in to the bottom here, like that. And then at the edge here, you're going to draw a line going out and then in. You're going to get out and then in. So you get kind of like a V. And then just a curve line kind of 
connecting these two. This is a little off, I'll erase that. And then you can draw kind of like a curve line, like a curve line going across, but you're going to put a little gap in it, like that. And then once that's down, we can draw in the um, handle for the trophy, which is basically a curve line. It, and it has kind of almost like an S curve to it, so it's going to go down, curve out, and kind of curve in, like that. It's going to curve around, and you're going to get like a circle here. And then at the edge of this circle, we're going to just draw a very thin line that kind of hugs it. Like that. And then this one is actually a lot easier. It's just a curve line going up here. Another one, and you kind of draw it going back in here. Like that. And now just to finish it off, we can draw the little cart on the top of the trophy, which we're going to keep it very basic. So we're going to draw a straight line going up, a little curve line on the bottom here, and another straight line, so you get kind of like a cylinder almost. And then basically what you're going to draw, do is draw kind of like a square, like that. And then on the square you're going to draw a line. Like give it depth, so you're going to draw a line going up on all four corners, and then just kind of connect those lines. Like that. And at the edges of them, you're going to draw like an oval, and then give two lines at the edge of the oval and go over, like that. I'll actually zoom in a little bit. So we're going to draw another oval right here, and then a line going across, across, and then connect them. And then you're just going to get a little kind of like curve line here for that wheel. This wheel you'd see a little bit more of the oval line going out, out, and then connect them. And then you're going to get a, kind of like a rectangle on top of here. And it's going to go down and over. And then just two rectangles here, and, or squares here and here for like the engine. And I'm going to erase a lot of it and then redraw just like what we need. Because there's a lot of like overlap and it's kind of hard to see. So once you got like the whole thing down, just kind of like a circle, over, circle, line going out, out, connect, going up, over, down, over, got the uh, things there, over, up, oval, Cross, cross, and you get a little steering wheel here with a circle. But that's pretty much how you draw like the tiny little cart on the very top. And looking at my picture, that actually looks like uh, it. So um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can draw Crash Nail and the CTR logo. Um, I wouldn't say this one's very hard. It's, it's actually quite easy. Um, definitely look at a reference. That's what I did. I just Googled. CTR, and this was one of the pictures that came up, and I was like, oh, that'd make a good drawing video. And uh, speaking about using reference, here's the sketch we just did. Here is a more inked version of um, the same picture. So if you're taking an ink pen, go over it, and then um, erase all the guidelines. You get what you have on the uh, left there. And um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope... Uh, you can draw a crash now. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer them. Uh, also, I do take requests. If you guys have any requests, again, just leave that in the comment section. I will put your request on my how to draw list. And then on Sunday, when I make drawing videos, I just randomly pick one off the list. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just what I feel like drawing that day. So, um, other than that, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, and, um, CTR is my next Let's Play. So that was kind of like the whole point of this video was, uh, a big update for my channel and getting a head draw video out of the way. So two birds, one stone, and I uh, hope to see you guys in the CTR Nitro Fueled Let's Play. So go check that out. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye